All right, YouTube. I wanted to go ahead and offer my response to uh, Monday Matt and uh, his video on James Gunn. The first talking point that I would like to go ahead and respond to is the fact that he says that people on the right are happy that uh, James Gunn was fired for his tweets. Um, that couldn't be any, any farther from the truth because uh, people on the right certainly know that they have been um, victims of uh, censorship. We have a deep hatred for censorship. Uh, because you're seeing it not only here in the United States, but to a much uh, more drastic uh, extent in Europe, uh, UK, essentially. I mean, they're trying to ban memes, essentially. So that really says a lot about uh, the EU's uh, in terms of like how they how much they value free speech. Um, so let's just go ahead and dispel that. Let's go ahead and dispel that notion that we're uh, we're happy that James Gunn, Gunn got fired. Essentially, what we're happy about is that we're um, exposing those in Hollywood that are trying to normalize uh, pedophilia, and that essentially was what James Gunn was doing and Dan Harmon Dan Harmon was doing. Uh, and I just want to go back to the whole censorship thing. You guys remember that Sam Hyde was fired uh, from Adult Swim for much less. I'm not saying that Dan Harmon should be fired, but look at it this way: if Sam Hyde was fired by the by those same standards, he should be fired as well, Dan Harmon. But, uh, but I don't want to see Dan. I don't want to see Dan Harmon get fired. In fact, because I, I just don't think it's right. I'm I'm in total agreement with you, Monday Matt, that people should not be fired for their opinions. Uh, however, we do have the right to uh, access um, what essentially boils down to public records in people's tweets, because those are things that are uh, made public in the legal sense. So you talk about us trying to weaponize social media. It's just essentially us utilizing social media to. Um, to research what these people are saying. And it just so happens to be that the uh, uh, public court of opinion that people like James Gunn and uh, uh, Dan Harmon are not necessarily people that uh, are very uh, respected, you know, especially because of their stances on, on said topics. Um, so I'm, I'm really glad that you've made the videos at least trying to offer um, justification for those two tweeting, but it's, it's very, uh, it falls flat and I think, uh, your comment section is very reflective of that. And I, I, I alluded to the fact that a lot of YouTubers use bots to uh, buff up their uh, their subscription numbers, their view counts, their uh, comments, thumbs up, etc. Um, <clears throat> I noticed that most of the comments in, in your comment section are, are thumbs up that actually are highly critical of your video. While the ones that are coming to your defense like don't have any thumbs, like people are really starting to buy it, you know, catch on to it that you're, you're using bots. To essentially back up your own points um, and I wouldn't be surprised if somebody like James Gunn reached out to you because you're a well-known youtuber and um, you know basically you uh, they, they offered you know they basically said hey you know give you a give you a little sum of money to make it look good you know kind of like a public relations stunt that's because that's essentially what this is um, you know you can defend it either way if you want but that's I think what a lot of people realize now um, and I'm not saying that you got paid to do that I'm just saying that it's a, it's a possibility you know I'm, I'm not making any accusations about that um and another thing too like i was reading through a comment section they were talking about uh you know how roseanne got fired after this video i'm actually going to go ahead and uh see if you got a video about roseanne i'm going to make a response video about that that should be fun um but it's essentially the same thing and you know you should probably uh come to roseanne's defense you know for her getting fired uh, for essentially uh, insulting a, a former corrupt government official, Valerie Jarrett, the uh, Iranian national. Yeah, she wasn't very uh, very patriotic, I think. You know. Nobody in that cabinet was. It was just a bunch of uh, you know, people that wanted to sell out America's sovereignty. But that's a whole other thing. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, Monday, Matt, uh, I, I fail to see your point. Um, and I see that your tactics, I, I kind of see your tactics, and I hope more and more people see that because um, it's very... It's very horrible of you to try and normalize uh, what they said and what they, you know, what Dan Harmon did because it's not normal and that's what you're trying to do. And I would like it if you just admit that um, because I think that you probably get a lot of respect from the people that actually agree with you rather than trying to create the illusion of having like a big fan base, which you actually don't. I'm sure your numbers are um, very, uh, you know, very small compared to the, your actual subscribers. And, uh, Mark Dice does some really good work. <laughs> Mark Dice basically exposed Chris Cuomo for the same thing because his tweets were getting, uh, Mark Dice's were getting a lot more retweets than Chris Cuomo, not so much. Combination of 
Chris Cuomo basically normalizing pedophilia and Mark Dice making good points. So, anyways, I think that your uh, your rears is up, buddy. And like I said, I'm really open to discussion and debate. And it's a small fish trying to attack a big fish, but that's just that's how I got to get onto the the circuit, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but anyways, thank you for being honest. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And um, please uh, check out my previous video about, uh, about Dan Harmon and Monday Matt. Thank you.